There is evil in this world, and there is good. Hatred and revenge, hope and redemption. This is my Maleficent inspired look. Starting off, I already applied my green contacts from Picky Paradise, where I usually get all my circle lenses. These ones are in Vastin Bambi Queen Green to achieve that mysterious Maleficent look. And since Maleficent is a lot paler than I am, I just mixed together a bunch of my lightest foundations and applied them to my face and neck. Next, I want to lock it all in with my powder puff and translucent powder from Cinema Secrets. Now contouring is key to this look. The forest fairy has very chiseled cheekbones and we are going to create the illusion of the protruding prosthetics with makeup. Taking taupe and gray shadows from my NYX makeup artist kit and a contour brush, I'm going to start sculpting and blending. Also using that same blend to contour my nose and the sides of my temples. Then I'm going to highlight using my NYX foundation stick and light pale, down the bridge of my nose and on the top of my cheekbones. And go over it with my white shadow in Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek. Taking that same white shadow, I want to apply it all over my lid with my finger. Next, using my reddish brown shadow, in Bitten from Makeup Geek, I'm going to apply it to the outer corner of my crease and blend it in. Taking that same reddish brown shadow and a dome brush, I'm going to apply it to the lower lash line. Going back to that white shimmery shadow, I'm going to apply it to my brow bone just for a nice highlight. And then using the gold shadow from the Maleficent palette, I'm going to place it right in the center of my brow bone. Using my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk, I'm going to place it on my waterline to widen my eyes. Next, I'm using NYX's Black Light On Liner to line my lower and upper lash lines. Then taking Revlon's Colored Stay Liquid Liner, I'm going to create a cat eye shape to make my eyes a little bit more like Angelina's. Then I'm going to curl my lashes for some lift. And apply their Real Mascara from Benefit. Next, I'm going to apply my Demi Wispy False Lashes from Ardell. Adding lash glue, I'm going to place the lashes as close to the lash line as possible. Adjust with tweezers and let dry for 20 seconds. For my brows, I'm using Ofra's Universal Brow Pencil, and I just want to make sure my brows are more arched than usual. Then I'm going over it with an angled brush and some brown shadow from my Urban Decay Brow Kit. And I don't want to forget Angelina's signature beauty mark above her brow. For those big red lips, I'm using Cinema Secrets Red Lip Liner in Ruby. I'm going a little outside of my natural lip line and up at the corners to create that fuller lip.
Then taking NYX's Deep Red Lip Liner, I'm going to create a line right down the center of my lip and at the corners for more dimension. And finally, fill it all in with red lip gloss. I'm using Marinus Lip Balm number two. And there is your Maleficent inspired look. I hope you enjoy. And remember, even the most evil of hearts and strongest of curses can be conquered by the power of true love. tutorial I'm going to show you how to get this wickedly glamorous look inspired by Cruella de Vil from Disney's 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> Starting off, I'm taking BH Cosmetics Waterproof Crown in Huntress and applying it all over and under my lid. Then I'm just going over it with a dark green shadow to lock it all in. <laughs> Using BH Cosmetics Wild and Free palette, I'm going to use my finger to grab that beautiful olive green color with a nice shine and place it right in the center of my lid. Then I'm going to use that cream color to highlight my brow bone. Now going to the Wild at Heart palette, I'm mixing these three shadows together and blending them into my crease for more depth and dimension. After that, I'm going to be taking a black smudgy eyeliner, lining my waterline, upper lash line, and creating a cat-eyed shape. Then I'm going over it all with a black liquid liner for more intensity and precision. Time to curl the lashes for some lift. Then apply some black mascara, starting at the base of the lash line and wiggling your way upward. To take the eyes to the next level, I'm adding some falsies. Using BH Cosmetics False Lashes in Bib It All. Now I'm going to be using a eyebrow pencil to fill in and define my brows, making them more arched for a villainous touch. Next, I'm going to be taking some pink blush from BH Cosmetics Glamorous Blush Palette and apply it to the apples of my cheeks, working my way upwards towards the hairline. Going back to that black liquid liner, I'm going to add a little beauty mark underneath my eye just to glam it up. Then I'm going to line my lips using red lip liner. And finally, I'm going to fill it all in with BH Cosmetics Cream Luxe Lipstick in Red Truffle. Mwah. And there is your Cruella de Vil inspired makeup. I hope you enjoyed this villainous look. Do you like my fur? I live for fur. I worship fur. After all, is there a woman in all this wretched world who doesn't? <laughs> Oh, hat fell off. Ah! Well, hello, hello, my beautiful shining sea stars. <laughs> 
In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get this dramatically glamorous look inspired by Ursula from Disney's Little Mermaid. I've already covered my face with white cream makeup and I contoured it with pigment color powder in violet from MAC. Taking roll-on shimmer from NYX in Platinum, I'm going to apply it to my brow bone and any other area I want highlighted to get a very glistening sea skin glow. And then I'm going to pat it all down with my fingers. Ursula's makeup is very over the top and dramatic. I'm using pigment color powder from MAC and applying it above and in my crease in a windshield wiping motion. This represents the underneath of Ursula's octopus tentacles. Taking a sparkling black shadow from NYX, I'm applying it in a cat-eyed shape in my crease area to add more depth to my eyes. Next, I'm going to apply NYX's Glam Shadow Stick in illuminating topaz all over my lid. This is going to be the perfect base for my blue glitter. To make my eyes really pop, I'm using NYX's Glide On Liner in Jet Black to my waterline and I'm also going to use it to tight line my lashes. I want my eyes to sparkle like the deep blue sea. To accomplish that, I'm using NYX's Glitter Mania in blue all over my eyelid. Ooh, so shiny. <laughs> to add more drama to this villainous look, I'm applying NYX's Slide On Liner in purple blaze under the bottom lash line. Then I'm going to curl my lashes. Then, I'm going to apply Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Mascara, starting at the base of my lashes and wiggling upwards. Then taking a pair of falsies, apply them as close to the lash line as possible. Adjust with your tweezers to make them perfect. I'm going to wing out my eyes using black liquid liner to make them even larger. To add a little magic to the eyes, I'm going to use NYX's Candy Glitter Liner in Disco Queen. It reminds me of the parties we used to have back when I lived in the palace. Taking a coral pink blush, I'm going to apply it to the apples of my cheek, working its way upward towards my hairline. For some more glitz and glam, I decided to add some sparkling self-adhesive sea gems that I got from Michaels. They stick like barnacles at the side of a human ship. I decided to place them at the side of my face and down my neck. Then I applied rolled on shimmer from NYX in Platinum to make them really stand out. Using Vivid Impact Liner from Max in Hipster, I'm going to line my lips, overextending the liner just a bit for a more animated look. Finally, I'm using Victoria's Secret's red lipstick in Icon and applying it all over my luscious lips. Mwah. Ooh, I almost forgot Ursula's signature beauty mark. And there is your glam Ursula inspired look. I hope you enjoyed. It's what I do. It's what I live for. To help poor unfortunate souls like yourself. <laughs> now go out there and shine like sea stars. My beautiful shining stars, welcome to Underland, where I, Arasabeth, the Red Queen, rules. Today, you could join me as I get ready for a game of chess. 
But before I get ready, twink! Okay, I've already prepped my face with eye magic white face cream for an all over clown white glow. Taking that light turquoise blue, I'm applying it to my eyelids and working it up the inner corners towards my brow. And then bringing it down to the outer corner of my eye area. Then you could just go over it with a light blue shadow of choice just to lock it all in. Next, taking this blue lagoon shadow from Sephora, I'm going to add more depth and dimension to the look, applying it to the outer corner of my crease area and taking it down underneath the lower lash line. Now using my black liner from Makeup Forever, I'm going to line my lower and upper lash line, just to really make my eyes pop. Time to curl them lashes for some lips. Then apply black mascara generously. I'm using my voluminous mascara from L'Oreal in carbon black. Starting at the base of my lash line and wiggling upwards. A wiggle, 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 wiggle. For lashes, I'm using Kardashian Beauty Lashes. Applying some lash glue, allowing it to get tacky. Placing as close to the lash line as possible. Adjusting with some tweezers and letting dry for 20 seconds. Then using my Minnie Mouse liner from Sephora, I'm just going to begin to blend it all in. With my Cara lashes in 42 black, I'm just going to repeat the same steps for my lower lash line. For my brows, I'm using my IT Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil to shape them and filling them in with my black liner. Oh, don't want to forget my beauty mark. Finally, for my lips, I'm going to shape them into a heart shape using my NYX Light On Liner in red tape. And then fill them in with my Urban Decay Lipstick in Arasabeth. Why, that's me. Oh, the perfect shape. For a bit more royal glam, I'm going to add some NYX Cosmetics Red Glitter with a lip brush and some lipstick. And there is your Red Queen inspired look from Disney's Alice Through the Looking Glass. I really hope you enjoyed this look, and if not, well then, off with your head! Why hello, my beautiful shining stars. Be prepared for a fierce and wild look inspired by Scar from Disney's The Lion King. <laughs> <coughs> okay guys, starting off with your favorite primer, apply all over your lid to ensure long lasting vibrant shadow. Taking a black eyeliner pencil from NYX, line your lash line and create a cat-eyed shape over the lid. I know it sounds sordid, but you'll be rewarded. Well, at last I have given my dues. And injustice, deliciously swear. 
Now for a dark purple sticky base, I'm using Laura Mercier's Caviar Stick and Plum and just filling that space in. Now taking a dark purple shadow, I'm going to pat it right over the sticky base. Now taking this Urban Decay shadow that I'm obsessed with in Intergalactic, I'm applying it right over the other purple for some more glitz and glam. Now taking a brick red color, we're gonna apply it right above the purple. And right on top of that, I'm going to place this sparkly orange color and apply it right to my brow bone. Now taking this bronze glitter from J-Cat's Beauty Sparkling Cream Palette, I'm gonna apply it right underneath my lash line. Now I'm gonna go over the lid with some black liner. Curl my lashes. And apply some mascara. Now time for some falsies. I'm going to apply my glue and then put them as close to the lash line as possible, adjust with tweezers, and let them dry for 20 seconds. Now taking some gel liner from Kaylin Cosmetics, I'm gonna apply it right over the lashes to help blend them in. And now I'm just adding some foundation, and I'm just gonna begin to contour my face. And to intensify the contour, I'm using Hula Bronzer from Benefit. And uh, I just really want everything popping, animated, and dramatic. Then I'm gonna take my blush brush and some mosaic blush from NYX and apply it to the apples of my cheek and work it up towards my hairline. Going back to that sparkly orange from NYX, I'm just gonna add it to the sides of my nose for a more dramatic contour. Time to fill in the brows with some dark brown shadow. Now for the fun part, the thing that pulls this whole look together. Using Chella's Ivory Lace Highlighter Pencil that I got in my um, Ipsy Glam bag this month, I'm creating the scar. And this is just modeled after Scar's um, scar. And now I'm just gonna lock it in with some light pink shadow. To give the scar some dimension, I'm taking a light brownish gray color and just outlining the scar. Then just proceed with filling in the rest of the brow. Now I'm just gonna line my lips with some black eyeliner as black as Scar's soul. And then I'm just gonna blend it in with my finger a bit. Then I'm gonna take Starlux Lip Pencil in Tickle Me Pink <laughs> and begin to fill in the middle of the lip, just blending it in like a gradient with a black. Mwah. And there is your fierce, wild, Scar-inspired look. Now you're prepared for a chance of a lifetime. <laughs> and laugh. <laughs> Hairball. Well, hello, my beautiful shining stars. Do you play croquet? In this tutorial, I'm showing you how to get this dramatic look inspired by the Queen of Hearts. Taking my favorite eye primer from a lime crime, I'm going to apply it all over my lid and this will help the colors pop and last all day. Then I'm going to take a light cream color from my dark shadows palette and apply it right to my brow bone for a nice highlight. 
Taking an angled brush, I'm going to mix a dark brown and a copper shadow together and begin to draw and create a new crease line. This will make my eyes look very animated and dramatic. Then, I'm going to take my Glam Shadow Stick from NYX in 24 karat and I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid and extend it out just a bit. Then I'm going to take my fluffy blending brush and apply this beautiful gold color from Sugar Peel called Goldilocks all over the 24 karat I just applied. To make my eyes really pop, I'm going to apply black eyeliner from Urban Decay to my waterline and outline it in a cat-eyed shape, like the Cheshire Cat. <laughs> For precision, <laughs> I'm going to take an angled brush and gel liner from Mica Beauty and I'm going to begin to thicken my liner for I want my eyes to really stand out. Then I'm going to curl my lashes to add some lift to them. Taking Urban Decay's Big Fatty Mascara, I'm going to apply it to the bottom of my lash line, wiggling my way upwards. With eyelash adhesive and a pair of falsies, I'm going to apply them as close to my lash line as possible. Then adjust with tweezers and let them dry for 20 seconds. With an angled brush and dark brown shadow, I'm going to begin to fill in and define my brows. With a blush brush, I'm going to apply Fuchsia Fusion from e.l.f. to the apples of my cheek, working it upwards towards my hairline. With black liquid liner from Revlon, I'm going to begin to draw in a heart beauty mark. With concealer from my Cinema Secret palette, I'm going to begin to conceal my lips. Mm. Then set it with powder. Taking a dark burgundy lip liner from NYX, I'm going to begin to draw out my heart-shaped lips. For lips as red as the rose, I'm using Lime Crime Velveteens in Red Velvet. I am absolutely mad about this color. Mwah. And there is your whimsical look inspired by the Queen of Hearts. Hope you enjoyed your stay in Wonderland. Be sure to like for more Disney looks. Otherwise, off with your heads! <laughs>
Now, using a dark midnight blue, I'm going to place it into the outer corner of my eye, bringing it into the crease for more depth and dimension. With a sparkly blue liner, I'm going to line the bottom lash line and upper lash line to make my eyes really pop. Then, I'm going to curl my lashes for some lift. Applying black mascara, I'm going to start at the base of my lash line and wiggle my way upward. Time to apply some falsies for some dramatic flair. Apply glue, allow glue to get tacky, place lashes as close to the lash line as possible, then adjust with tweezers and let dry for 20 seconds. Going back to that midnight blue shadow, in a thin brush, I'm going to fill in and define my brows. Using a neutral pink blush, I'm going to apply it to the apples of my cheeks and work it up towards my hairline. Next, taking a mauve lip liner, I'm going to shape my lips. Then, fill them in with a pale pink lipstick. Mwah. And there is my Into the Woods beautiful witch look. Be sure to watch this enchanting fairy tale unfold December 25th. And remember, be careful what you wish for.